Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a blood splash effect in After Effects. Uh, we are going to be using Sapphire plugins, so make sure you have them. So, you gotta have a clip. I'm gonna put it right between when you shoot it. So like, I'm gonna make a cut right here. And then, I'm gonna speed ramp it, so it will be like a little quicker, and then it will slow down. So, right click then time enable time ramping uh, make a keyframe go a few frame frames forward and then speed it up just a little bit something like that and then at the end just slow it down so it's like nice speed run and then click that one and that and another one right here so you have this smooth transition uh, Let's make this a little faster. Uh, somewhere on there. Yeah, I think that's that's clean. And then highlight all the keyframes. Click F9 to easy ease them. And then next next thing, uh, we're gonna drag our blood splash effect. I'll link that down below for you guys for free. And uh, since it is uh, HD resolution and my clips are uh, 4K, I'm gonna scale it up. About we're gonna scale it up a little bit more uh, to our liking. Yeah, somewhere on the nice and drag it between transitions so it just look like he shoots somebody. Um, yeah, that, that's that's nice. Uh, to make that even cooler and more realistic, I'm gonna let's do camera lens blur right here, and then uh, put the radius to like ten, so uh, it's blurry, and then the blood is in focus. Next thing to spice it up even more, uh, we're gonna drag uh, the silver light. I'm gonna link it down below as well. Um, it's like a I don't know light thing or something. Uh, we're gonna put toggle and switches and switch it up to screen. And since it is so long, we're gonna speed it up, speed ramp it as well. Right click, time enable time, time ramping. We wanna this this thing in between so um, I'm gonna drag it till we see yeah something like that and then maybe speed ramp it so it will be a little bit quicker let me see yeah it's it's fine and then toggle the switches and click double click that and use motion blur and uh, f9 those keyframes as well um, we can speed it up even more till it's gone. Something around there. Yeah, that, that's clean. That's clean. Um, maybe drag it a little bit here. Yeah, just play around with the keyframes uh, to your liking. We are going to pre-compose all the things and then split it right here. And uh, I'm gonna be using Shake from my preset pack. Uh, link will be down below uh, for download. You can guys use whatever shake you want, but I'm gonna use mine. So um, let's try High Shake 2. And maybe I'll delete human saturation. And we have something like that. Yeah, that's cool. And we also going to put this thing here. That's somewhere here. Yeah, that's 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 clean. F9, those keyframes. Yeah, that's that's looking good. Um, but we going to spice that even more by adding some few things. Add an adjustment layer. And we're gonna add a lumetri color. 
and I'm going to be using a lot for my pack all in one I'll link that for you guys as well um, let's try that one that's that's cool well, we can play with that even more add some maybe I will leave that for now add some more green saturation bit down exposure contrast highlights up and you can guys also add a grain I'll use uh, the one from my pack that is also included in the only one pack it's the overlay and also I think I will use border is also for my pack I'm gonna scale it so we match the footage yes I'm on that and there you go guys so thank you guys for watching uh, I hope you guys learned something today uh, if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Make sure you check my packs, the link will be down below. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.